Hi guys, it's Joe. I wanted to share my first project of the year and it is for the I Am Roses monthly challenge for February. It is an altered box. It's a photo keepsake box. I wanted to create something where I can store my son's pictures in. It's basically I'm going to store one picture for each month of his first year in here so I'm going to look through all the pictures that I've taken each month and pick out the most memorable um, picture out of the bunch and I'll just print it and I have some here and it's basically and it's not four by six at all it's smaller than that I printed it from my Polaroid portable printer and it prints on um, sticky back uh, photo paper so you could put this anywhere you want but I'm not taking it out that the backing out I'm just gonna leave it as is and I'm gonna like I said print one picture for for each month for the f for his first year and then I will put it in the box and store it as it, as so as is so that's my box let me just give you a close-up here And I just wanted to share with you the supplies I use. So I really dug deep in my stash. This is Webster's Pages. And uh, the collection is Lullaby Lane. And it's a really beautiful baby collection. This is actually the pattern paper that I used. And I just cut it to fit the lid and I distressed the edges of the paper. Then I went ahead and layered some lace trim. This I received from a rack long time ago, so I thought that'd be really pretty right here. And then the frame, some of you might recognize it. It is a Tattered Angels frame. So I pretty much popped out the letters in the middle and I used the frame itself and this frame again has the sticky back adhesive and I printed out a picture and this picture actually is the picture I posted on Instagram to announce my pregnancy. So that's little Darian and a little bow tie right there. So I put that in the frame and then the flowers that I used, these are tulips, red and white tulips. And then I use this beautiful white flower. It's a R43. I used it right here. And the cream flower on the side right here I used. This is S4. I'll have all the links and descriptions of the flowers on my blog. Yes, I made a blog post, so I'll put the link in the description box. But here is the flower. Then I use these really small white flowers. I pretty much use these all the time as filler flowers. And these are the S10. I use these. The smallest size of roses they carry is a quarter of an inch, so it's 0.25 centimeters and that's what it is it is the cream and then I put a little cream crocheted flower flower in the bunch right there so let me just show you and the other embellishment I used is this um, this clock wood veneer clock from I think it's Prima this is a little word embellishment piece that I received from a friend in a little goodie bag and this right here it's no longer available in the store but it's just a piece of um, I cut off a piece of a long white spray and it's pretty much cherry blossoms if you wanted to create your own cherry blossoms put little rose leaf there and then just get a twig and spiral it around like a pencil and you could use that to make this right here so anyways, I just wanted to share this project on YouTube and I have pictures on my blog and all the products and links to the flowers as well. And I wanted to come here and share it with you. 
and then again it's plain inside. So come over to the I Am Roses challenge blog if you work with I Am Roses flowers and enter your projects because there are four prizes up for grabs. One person will win a $30 gift voucher, two people will win $25 voucher and then the grand prize is a $50 voucher for the I Am Roses website. So if you like working with flowers on your projects, on your cards, enter and you'll have a chance to win to, um, any one of those four prizes. Alright, so that is my project share and thanks for watching. Bye.